So I got this message from Amazon that I should add up 0.125 to my books and the width 0.25 inch, which is approximately 6.4 mm to the page height to ensure that the image on your manuscript extends beyond the edge of the page. I just want to tell you, I'm going to walk you through an I solve this and you too can use the same uh, style and solve your own challenges. All right, first of all, you should know that before you start anything, you should understand how Amazon uh, book really works. Um, over the expanded distribution, because sometimes your book is not qualified for expanded distribution, all because of this. First of all, you should know this, that if you read from here down, you should see what Amazon said. If your content is poorly translated, it won't meet up, but that's not even because I know you can read the screen and you really know all this. We'll go to trim size, which is your book uh, size, your manuscript uh, size. From here, we have the first one, five inches and eight inches. What this really mean is you can uh, do this for, is you can use it, uh, it's qualified for uh, expanded distribution when it's black and white paper and when it's black ink and cream paper, you can use it. But when you use this paper size, for premium color ink and white paper you can't do expanded distribution yes then if you move down you see the one yes no yes no that is why before you make your book you should always have in mind that you're going to be doing six times nine which is yes 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 because i believe these two here 510.5 and 6.9 are the only books that qualify for all years yes so whether you're making colored or you're making premium or you're making standard colors, you can use 6.9. That is why I advise you start from there when making your book. So I don't know what you use. It might be Microsoft Word. Uh, it might be, but most majority of the stuff I use is Google Docs. So I'll be going straight to Google Doc and I'm going to put in the doc.new because I want just I want to create a new book. So when I open that, first of all, I have to ensure I save my work with uh, my choice name. So right here, I'm going to come to this place and just wait for this untitled document to load. And I'm going to just say, um, fixing issues, anything I feel like calling it. So I'm going to write fixing issues, let it load fully well. So I'm going to say fixing issues. Then uh, let me assume there's a mistake from me. So that's done now. The next thing I want to do is to put my um, font size very well because it's very, very important. You put your font size. So I'm going to start with the font size from here. I'm going to pick a Time New Roman, depending on what you use. Then I'm going to just make this font size 12, but at least the size should be 7. No matter the size you're using, it should not be lesser than 7, as Amazon might not accept it. So we have minus, we have plus. Then this is all. If you want to add other stuff, you can come straight to the plus sign. Uh, uh, your line spacing, you can use 1.5. You can use uh, 1.15 or double. Better still, you can leave it here and you're good to go. So if you want to align it to the center, you can start from here or you can make this stuff. So just leave it that way. Then, then the next one I want to check is the page setup. So we'll come straight to the file. If you're on your smartphone, just try follow through and get through this place. Put your phone on desktop mode. Then you have access to this kind of screen. So now we're going to go straight to page setup from here. Now click on page setup. Then the next thing I want to do is to change this. If it's landscape, you're moving, working with your choice. But if you want to really work with this, so I'm going to come here, I'm going to go to A5 because that is the size of the paper, reason, which is 5.83 times 8.27, approximately 6 times 9. Yes, 6 times 9. So we're going to use A5 paper for the manuscript. And when we go, we are going to just leave this margin at 1, bottom at 1, left at 1, and right at 1. Then I'm going to hit on OK. So it's going to resize this. This should fit everything. So now let me just open one of these documents here and just copy stuff because let me open this stuff so that I won't show you all the process. I don't waste too much time trying to explain this for you. All right now, so open a file. I'm going to open one of this file whereby I just rearrange my stuff. I've already published on Amazon though. Uh, when it opens, let me show you something here. So over here now I have something called family devotions with kids so i'm going to pull this up and just double click okay let me just use the fearless journey then it's going to load and i'm going to open this and show you something amazing yes now you can see the uh, size this is my manuscript 
perfectly done and was not rejected there was no error at all everything i told you from the onset is what i did here because if it comes straight to my file from here you come straight to the page setup okay try to have a full load anyway so file from here then page setup i'll click on page setup and i'll show you something so the page setup you see i have a5 paper very good to use depending on which of the app you're using i told you i'm using google doc because of the online feature to auto save your work as you walk through so now i have the title and then all stuff like this you can just brief through and say then this is very important yes so the error god is because from here if you check now it's going to tell you you should add some page size to this you should add some page a uh, book page width to this so that it can cover uh the image or background that you you want to reach all the way of the edge this is what we are really doing here so now uh from here now okay so now let's say i have this now everything is well centered aligned don't i just just leave it uh just like from here you see i have this place uh justify so when you go to go the next thing you want to do is do your uh, book cover because your book cover matters you don't just go there and just uh, make book covers because you felt like making you must follow the guide when making book covers so you might use photoshop you can use corel draw adobe illustrator depending on what you use but me i'll be using canva because i think it's easier to use so from here now uh the total size of this book uh page number is 133 three. so we're going to come straight to this place now so what i'll do now is come here i'm going to search for uh book cover calculator so look at it there then when you just click on that it's going to take you straight to kdp cover calculator then it's going to open when it opens we're going to calculate this book depending on what we're really doing yes depending on what you're doing so now uh from here i'm going to select this from here then i'm going to select this i'll say I'm, what i'm making is a paperback then from here i'm going to select interior i'm going to click on black and white so i'm going to click on black and white if it's colored you can pick color if it is premium color you can use premium color i talked about this from the beginning then from here is a white paper i'm using i'm not using a cream paper then from this is left to right if you're doing right to left depending if it's arabic you're writing on hebrew you can start from uh, left to uh, right to left so from here you're going to pick inches like this then trim size i'm going to pick six nine because that is what we're using from here then from here you're going to put the counts i'm going to put one three four instead of one three three but above all you can use one three three there's that size but your choice so i'm going to click out of this then i have the option to calculate this so over here now i have this stuff at 12.552 and 9.225 from here so now what i'll do now i might download this immediately so that i can use it so let's just wait for it to download then i will use it immediately so download this is coming up soon we should have that look at it here so from here i'm going to download this stuff and i'm good to go so let's just wait for this to download i'll push it to my screen i believe um network is really a disturbance but okay so everything is sorted let me just open this stuff now and show you what i just downloaded so let me close this stuff and this is what we've downloaded so i'm going to open the file location by right clicking on my computer then i open folder depending so just extract it if you don't have extractor go to your place to and download any of the extractor and zip file extractor winrar or you can use z archiver or any any way you think is good for you just use it so this is what i have i'm going to just move this to the desktop screen because i only want to use that the desktop here so i'm going to place this here then we have it this way so i'm going to clear this from here because i don't want this i want to get something from it so i'll click on this and op extract it very fast so what we are getting from this is this uh paperback cover i'm going to copy it then i'll put it on my screen so now we have this i'll tell you why as time goes on so next thing we want to do now is to just move on straight to this place and go to uh canva.com if you don't have a canva pro account it's advisable you have one or uh, you can better still chat me up with any link you can see or just drop on a comment and i'll give you uh, access to me and all this will be soft so from here i'll go straight to the home section we're going to use uh one of the default templates and we will move on so from here now what i'll do now is uh so now let's just have this let's just have this uh come up soon so from here we're going to size search for book cover so let me just write book cover so from the book cover now i'm going to move on to the book cover like this 
I'm going to search for something. So when you click on book cover, hit on enter on your PC or your phone and you're good to go. So now uh, let's just wait for this to come up and uh, we're good to go. So sometimes it takes time depending. But I believe this tutorial should be easy if you really follow everything I'm talking about. Yes. So from here now, let's just say this is the book cover. You want to make something like this. You want to really use this. So click on this and it's going to open. Now this is the pro account so I can use any of these. So I'm going to customize this because I really want to use this color here. And I'm going to hit on. You can pick the out of stuff stuff. So now what I'll do now is to customize this stuff very fast. So now, uh, now we've calculated the book cover. I want to make some stuff and some days there is need. Okay, because this is what I'll be using. So I'm going to just show you one trick here before we move on to the, why I downloaded that stuff. So now let this stuff load. We're going to come straight to this size. Yes, it's good to check the size. But if you're on the free version, you can't eat a resize. But I just want to see this stuff and see the size of my cover because it's very important. The size of my cover is very, very important. So I'm going to resize this stuff. Look at this size. So if your size is not like this, you're missing out. So ensure your own is at, at least 1000px. So you can use both 1000 to 1000 because Amazon recommends it should not be more than lesser than 700. So I advise you go on a higher book size cover so that it fits all. So this is good enough to use. So I'll just move on and progress through. So now I'm going to download this. Let's just, I'm not making any change to this. I'll just share this stuff. I want to download this stuff uh, very fast. I'm going to download it as JPEG, which is recommendable because Amazon permit TTIF and JPEG. So I'm going to come here and change this stuff from here to something different. So I'll put on JPEG, best for sharing. Then I'm going to click on download. You can rename from this place and just say uh, test run. So anything I want to call it here, I'm going to call it here. I'm going to write test run. Okay, TST like this. So test run, I'm going to click on enter. Then I'll share this stuff again. Then I'll download immediately to my computer or your phone. So find this file. It should download anytime soon. In no seconds, we should have that. But it's not coming up. Let me hit on download again and see. All right, so we can see from here it's coming up. Uh, it's going to finish moving from this side to the side and the downloading should be done. So we have that, it should appear here now. Now we to open this file and see how it is. So it's opening file. So this is what we have on the screen uh, without making any change. So we have uh, into the mind of a child stuff. Let's just say that's your book. So the next one to do is the exact book cover. Yes. The exact book cover, this is really, really important. The book cover for the paperback. Yes, yeah, so now what we do now is to come straight to the home section like this. So click on home. So when you click on home, the next thing you want to do is to search for a default size. Yes, I advise you search for a default size. And when I mean default size, custom size, create it yourself. So come straight, click on create design, then move on to a custom. So let's just see from here. We should have something different from here. No time. All right. So we have the custom size. I'm going to click on custom size like this. And I'll click on it like this. Then it's going to give me power to choose. So from here, I'm going to open that image I extracted from the screen, which is this. Then we're going to put it in there. So let this one open and we will have that. So here we have the size 12.552, 9.25. So that's what I'm going to put in there and we progress through to what we're doing. So we have here, ensure this is in IN, which is inches. So we're going to put 12.225, then 9.25. So if I'm making mistake, I just have to cross check and see. So we have 12.552, 9.25. Let's see, 12.552. So that's a mistake from me. So 552, 9.25. You can put a zero if you feel like. Then here, you're going to click on create design. Then when you click on create design, it's going to open and we'll start the designing aspect. So now, now we have this like this. Now we'll start the design. I could just increase my screen or drop it down a bit and just leave it this way. The next one I want to do is to just uh, upload everything we've downloaded. I'm going to click on upload file. So this stuff I downloaded, I'm going to upload this. Then I will upload another file again from my desktop screen, which is at the desktop. I have a paperback, which is this. So I'm going to move on to this. I'm going to put on that. So we have those two stuff coming up in no time soon. So I just believe this is network. That's the reason it's still pending for now. So uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I advise you try subscribe. 
so that you don't lose out when I make uh, important, um, when I make good tutorial that is of help to everyone. So don't forget to like this and drop a comment. If you're not getting it well, drop a comment, then I will assist you immediately. And I will appreciate if you should subscribe. So now the next thing we want to do now is move on. So this first one is uploading, uh, depending on your, the strength of your network. If you are using a very fast network, this should give you answer. But if your network is as slow as the one talking here, you might be pissed off. So if I am going to click on this one because it's fully uploaded, then we have that. Then the other one did upload, I'm going to upload it again at this place. So let me just check the downloads from here. Let me just pick test run. Then it's going to come up sooner. All right, so we have that. So now I'm going to drag this one here because I want it to be this place. Then I'm going to resize. So it's going to fit it immediately, which is cool. So if your own doesn't fit like this, you're having error already. You're having big trouble. So from here now, I'm going to have this like this. Then I'm going to click on this from here. Then I'm going to put this here. But above all, I want to cover this stuff. So I'm going to delete this for now. Then I'll just cover my screen totally with some element. I just want to cover this template so that it doesn't affect my design. So I'll come to this place. I'm going to click on this stuff. Then I'll bring it to this side, out it. Then I'll drag it and fill the screen. Very, I'm sure it covers everything very, very well. So now from here, I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to pick a different color. Let me just say a yellow color from here which is close to the color I used. So I'm going to come down here and I'll find something like this or black instead, then we're good to go. So I'm going to make this transparent by coming here to this transparent. So check on your phone so that I can place it very well. Then at the upload level, I'll pick this now. I'll reposition it like this. So over here, I can resize by just making this way and bringing this out like this. But if you don't like that, what the advice is drag this one to the side then bring this one up like this. So this is what we have. You can bring this to the side as well. So now this is perfectly placed. You can bring this one up if you think you want to place it. Then this is cool. So now we're going to come to this place and just bring the, the transparency of this back to the exact color by making this. And we have this color like this. But before you do that, you can just reduce the transparency. Let me tell you about what you should do again before that. So if you want to add any other element, let's say you're a publisher, you want to write uh, published by me, you can just come here and say, um, okay, uh, learn LD publishing, which is learn digital, you can say LD publication. So then you can just make it this color white because remember the background is something black. So let's just come here and make this white then. I'm going to select all from here and make this white immediately. Then I'll come here now, bring it to this place. Not sorry, this one is what I'm talking about. Then I'm going to make it smaller. It's very important. We'll make it smaller. I'll control Z instead and just come here and just type in time, divide this sign into 20. Then let me just make it smaller like this. Then I'll pull it down here and it's good. And sure it doesn't touch this and it's not out. If you have any other thing you want to put at this, your cover, you can put it and you are good to go. So the next one to do is ensure this sits very well. If you think you, you're scared, you can just make some adjustment like this uh, so that it sits very well inside. So if you want to do it this way, your choice. So now I'm going to fill this back and I will download it immediately. So I'll come straight to this place and get transparency. So this is what we have. So I'm going to click on share. Now the next thing I want to do is to download this stuff so fast. But if you want to download it, I'm going to download it with something called PDF print. But the downside of this is you should have the premium or the pro account if you really want to use CMYK to download this, you get. So the next thing I'll do is to click on download. So now download is coming up soon and we are good to go. So this is just the most important part of your uploading. Everything is done. Uh, I didn't tell you about this. If you want to download this stuff, you think you should download it. Just come straight to file. Here you can download as a PDF. Yes, so download as PDF if download as PDF if it's paper uh, back then if it's a Kindle book you should download as web page because I think that's even better for you you get so now um, now I'm going to download this off as PDF so that will show you all the style and we're going to upload this and make sure there is no error in this so now we have that let's move on to this stuff and uh, we're good to go so we'll come straight to KDP from here then we're going to click on bookshelf then from the bookshelf, we're going to create something different. We're going to come here to the paperback and we move on. So let's create something called uh, 
okay so we're going to put on paperback because this is where the real problem comes whether it's kindle whether it's paperback any of these is important yes so now uh let's just move on to the steps and we are good to go so let this stuff come i'm going to ask you for the book title just put in and say um um okay which name should we call it let's say learning uh a high all right let's call it you can put your subtitle if you have then at this place you can put your author name and just say learn let me just say this is the name of the author you can put something like learn okay author okay sorry that should be mister but i'm not putting that i'm going to put learn then this plan will put digital that's the name of the youtube channel then if there's anything i'll say uh yeah just you can put anything that you feel like but ensure it, you do your proper research so please subscribe to my channel all right let's just add the description then we'll move on i own the right and stuff so adult only content you're going to say no this is not adult only content then you come straight to this place if your book fall under low content category you can select this but if it doesn't fall you can leave it but remember when you don't publish you can't change this stuff here so i'm going to click on choose category i'll select any of this category that talks about my book let's say this is a children's book you can put that and say hey it's talking about history just save category i'm not going to make deeper explanation if you really want to know how this really works and how to really do this thing perfectly well on the research process send me a dm immediately and you're good to go so this thing didn't select very well i'm going to still reselect again let me just say act on philosophy business art let me save this category and see all right so we have one then we can move on you can put your keyword here uh keywords are very important what you think people will be searching you put it in there i won't talk too deep so i'm going to save this stuff if it's cool we we'll move on to the next phase yeah so save successfully the next place is the most important place and that's where i'll be stopping in this tutorial so now you're going to assign me a kdp uh an isbn so from here when you've been assigned a number that's just your unique id you used to track yourself then we'll come here to this place at this place depends on what you do if it's black and white click on black and white with cream papers if it is white paper select white paper if it's standard color interior with white paper select if it is premium just select what you're doing uh if it is a uh, standard color which is just uh colored so when look at it then premium color you see a, a much uh but the question now is the more you select all this the, the printing cost becomes so expensive so the pricing of your book goes higher that's why most time my books i do them on black and white as so from here you can click on 6x9 which is 6 times 9 then from here you can bleed this stuff which is very key then you move on to uploading your manuscript and other stuff like that